Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how to add a second fan to your Cooler Master Hyper 212 CPU cooler. I want to add a second fan here so to improve the cooling on my CPU. To do this you need the following items. Of course you need a 120mm PWM fan. So here I got the Corsair ML120 LED Elite fan. And also you need the two brackets that come with the accessory box of the Cooler Master Hyper 212. So these are the two brackets. You need to add them to the fan of course to put it here. And I'm going to show you all this. And I'm going to measure also the temperatures before adding the second fan and after adding the second fan to see if the temperatures drop. So let's start working on this. So let me open the fan and show you how to install it on the brackets. And as I said, this is a PWM fan. It means it has four connectors and these are the screws for the fan. You need to put the fan in a pull position. So you need to search for the arrows to see how to put it. So these are the arrows here. So this is the pull position. It will pull like this. And for the air, you see this arrow here. This arrow means that the air will be pushed like this. So I need to put it like this so that the air will be pulled and then pushed to the top like this. So it should be like this. So now we need to install the brackets on it. And the brackets should be like this because the brackets will go on the CPU cooler here. And I'm going to show you all this, of course. So let me show you on the CPU cooler. It will be like this. It means I need a bracket like this here and another bracket here. And it will go like this. So let's install the first bracket. Just put the brackets here on the screws opening and get the screws that came with the Corsair fan or with the fan that you bought. By the way, I'm going to leave a link in the description for the Corsair fan in case you want to check it out. This is an Amazon affiliate link. I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you if you make a purchase using my link. So let's install the brackets. As always, when you put the first screw, do not tighten it all the way. You need to tighten it after you put the second screw. So this way, if you need to make adjustments, you can make adjustments. So now you can tighten. Do not over tighten the screws because it is metal on plastic. So we don't want to break the case of the fan. And this is the second bracket. It should go like this. And it is very good from Cooler Master that they provide a second set of brackets so to install uh, the fan. Also, one thing you should know is that you need to look in your motherboard's documentation to see if you have an empty fan header. Otherwise, get the Y cable and connect the Y cable to the fan header on your motherboard and connect both fans to this Y cable. I'm going to also leave a link in the description for a Y cable in case you need one. So here on my Asus motherboard, I have another header. So I'm going to change the angle of the camera so you see better. So before installing the fan, I wanted to tell you that on the old brackets, you notice this cushioning here. This is to prevent the fan from pushing down and I don't have them. So when I install the fan and when you install the fan, make sure not to push it all the way and leave about like five millimeters up. I'm going to show you how to do this. So now to install the fan, make sure once again that the arrows are pointing in the right direction. So they should be down like this so that the fan will pull the air and then it will push it up and I have two exhaust fans here so put it like this make sure not to pinch the cable and then just push it gently while holding the CPU cooler from the other side so that it doesn't tilt like this and here's the fan installed as I told you I'm gonna leave it a bit higher so it is almost on the same height of the other fan. Now you need to connect the fan to the fan header on your motherboard if you have one. On my Asus motherboard, I have the header that is here. So I wanna connect it here. I'm gonna try to zoom in for you to see. So the header is here. And of course it has a key. So make sure to put it in the right direction. And here it is, let's push it in. So let's tidy up the cables here. So now everything is tidy. I'm going to hook the PC to the power and test it.
So this is the second fan, and this is the first time I turn on the PC. And the fan is running, as you see. And these are the brackets to protect the fan. So the fan inside, which is white, is running. I'm going to get a different angle for you to see. So now let me show you the results of the test I've made with one fan versus the results I've made with two fans. So with one fan, I exported a 4K video with my software that I use for editing, which is VSDC. And I was getting 34 frames per second average on export. And the temperature of the CPU was around 84 degrees. And the clock was hovering around 4.2 gigahertz. And for Cinebench, the score with one fan was 26,221. And the temperature reached 90 degrees. And the CPU clock was hovering around 4.1 gigahertz. Now for the test results, when I added the second fan, in VSTC I gained a whopping 6 frames per second, although the temperature did not drop significantly, so it was hovering around 82 degrees, but the clock of the CPU was 4.3 gigahertz, and it was stable, so it was all the time 4.3 gigahertz. Now with Cinebench, with two fans, the temperatures also reached 90 degrees, but the score was 27,714, and the clock speed was also better with 100 megahertz, so it was around 4.2 gigahertz. Now at the end is adding a second fan worth the while. I say it is worth the while, especially for exporting the videos in my preferred editing software. And the results will be the same also with other editing softwares. So a gain of 6 frames per second is good. And dropping the temperature of the CPU by 2 degrees is also not bad. If you have other experiences adding a second fan to your Hyper 212 Cooler Master CPU cooler, please let me know in the comments section below. I hope that this video was useful to you. In case it was, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and this will help my channel greatly. And this way, you'll not miss my future videos. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.